I'm Jez Rose, I'm an animal behaviour specialist and director of The Behaviour Company. 40% um, of the UK's pet owning population said they would consider rehoming or even consider euthanasia if their pet's behaviour became a problem. So understanding what makes behaviour worse, what makes behaviour better and how we can prevent behaviour problems is a real key issue for me. And I'm here to discuss how feeding raw can form a really key part of the solution to avoiding those common behaviour problems. So this last year, by the 14th of October, we'd seen 500 dogs at our behaviour practice. And the very first question we always ask is, what do you feed your dog? And if they give me a brand name, I then ask a little bit deeper, you know, so what specifically brand name? Because there are certain cooked foods and certain diets that people feed their dogs that, um, have a direct effect on behavior as we've already spoken about in other videos so that's always my first concern because that's the one thing that's really easy to change and can make the biggest impact on the dog's behavior and, you know if you said to your child um, I don't know you said to your child's therapist you know or he's climbing the walls all the time and he swings from the lampshade and he eats curtains and he I don't know runs around on his bike and stuff and the therapist says well what do you feed your child and they say well he has uh, you know, sweets full of E numbers for breakfast, lunch and dinner, <clears throat> it's fairly obvious where the next question is going to go. How about we change the diet and see if we can change the behaviour? Now, of all of the clients that we see on an annual basis, um, if we believe that diet is contributing or exacerbating to the behaviour problem, nine times out of ten, if they switch to a raw diet, they see a complete difference in the animal's behaviour. And that's a key part of the behaviour problem puzzle. Um, we, and food is, is, is a really key part of that. We have hundreds of anecdotal stories of um, people feeding raw food and having completely different dogs and, and are so sold then on, on the raw diet. You know, I mean, I have no commercial interest. I don't sell raw food. You know, it's, it's just advice that I know works. Um, and what's really lovely is seeing the difference in the dog um, through changing the food because you're four steps ahead with the behavior plan because you're not having to try and manage the dog's behavior with this constant behavior. You know, you can sort of reduce the behavior problem slightly by changing the food and then move full steam ahead with the behavior plan. So um, absolutely, um, nutrition has a direct effect on behavior and it's part of our behavior problem puzzle and part of our treatment plan for every animal that we see.